ladies and gentlemen and Mr. Prabhu Saab. First of all, let me thank Hiram for organizing this event and providing me this opportunity to express my views on the given subject. Self-determination is the principle in international law that nations have the right to freely choice, choose their sovereignty and international political status with no external compulsion or interference. The, right, the self-determination of people is a basic principle of the United Nations Charter, which has been reaffirmed in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and applied numerous time to the settlement of many international disputes. The UN celebrates self-determination in Article 1 and as a major objective of its charter. <coughs> Self-determination has been protected in countless international documents and treaties. It is guaranteed under the Article 1 of International Covenant on Political, Civil Rights and Article 1 of International Covenant of Economic, Social and Cultural Rights. Self-determination has been exercised in the past with the help of the United Nations. For example, the decolonization process have has had some successes in the United Nations machinery. However, the entire process of decolonization was not smooth. There were many instances when those states still intend on holding on to their colonies, put up a strong resistance against having their dominions stripped from them, but the cause for independence, in many cases, accompanied with well-motivated insurgent movements, brought home to the international community the importance of achieving self-determination in order to ensure peace and security. Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia, Montenegro has and Kosovo exercised self-determination from Yugoslavia. Ireland achieved self-determination by revolting against Great Britain. Namibia justified self-determination by force of arms against South Africa. The Southern Sudan did the same to obtain independence from Sudan. East Timor commanded strong international sympathy and help from the international community in asserting self-determination. The United States earned self-determination by defeating the British in the Revolutionary War. India and Pakistan attained self-determination from the British. State of Jammu and Kashmir is the example of the right of self-determination case which is still awaiting for its fate in the United Nations. The applicability of the principle of self-determination to the specific case of Jammu and Kashmir has been clearly recognized by the United Nations in numerous resolutions in 1948. UN established United Nations Commission and India and Pakistan, and it was decided that plebiscit would be held through a democratic process from resolution of Kashmir issue. However, the plebiscit has never taken place. India denial and changing positions has led to a continued conflict in the region. It was India who brought the Kashmir issue to United Nations and founding leaders of India promised not only in the United Nations but also in Srinagar to give peoples of Kashmir the right to decide 
their future through democratic process. But later on, India leadership, Indian leadership changed its stance and claimed that Kashmir was an integral part of India. This attitude was India was unacceptable to the peoples of India and occupied Kashmir and uh, Jammu and Kashmir and they launched the struggle against the Indian occupation. India denial to from last 65 years has led to a regime of human rights violations in India held Kashmir, Indian held Kashmir and tension between two nuclear countries of subcontinent with the people of Azad, Jammu and Kashmir have always supported peaceful settlement of the Kashmir dispute but could not remain silent on the gross and systematic human rights violation in India held Indian held Jammu and Kashmir. We support the peace building initiative between India and Pakistan, but we also want international and credible investigations of unmarked mass graves and other human rights violations and repealing of Draconian laws such as Armed Forces Special Powers Act. We also demand inclusion of Kashmiri leadership in ongoing dialogues process between India and Pakistan. We always want a concrete of international community because we have a concrete role of international community because we have seen the bilateralism has failed in last 65 years to achieve peace in the region. It is only the resolution of Kashmir issue which guarantees peace in South Asia in particularly and world at large. I thank you, Mr. President.